Thank you, Madam Speaker. Um, we've all experienced as parents um, that feeling of losing your child at the fair or at Walmart, and something happens inside. Your heart sinks. Um, you go into panic mode. Uh, you try to think of where they were last, um, and and you know, as as we think back to when those scenarios happened to us, uh, I'd like you to just think about not knowing that feeling inside of not knowing where your child is, and what. And, and what that, what we're doing through this legislation is not allowing for that connection, that critical piece of connection and, and bonding and an opportunity for learning between parent and child. So what could happen is that you have the trans community who's listening tonight. To them, I would say, we really do love you. And we do want to listen. And sometimes it's hard for parents to learn because they're supposed to be the parents. But my kids have taught me so much. I've learned so much from them. And what they're experiencing in, in school or what they're experiencing through their friendships or their feelings about our LGBTQ community and our transgender community, we have so much to learn as parents. And I think that's a key piece that, that maybe we're not thinking about in this legislation is that those, those children can teach us to be better parents. This is stripping us of that opportunity of being able to create that connection and bond that is lost when we haven't um, open our hearts and minds to what they're going through. Um, parents can teach, teach children as well. One of the things that we could help teach is the benefits of, of transitioning, but also some of the, um, some of the risks. So, so this could be a back and forth situation of learning and progress and growth and connection and love. And I see this legislation um, as impeding the ability of parents to, even after there may have been some harsh words spoken, of that chance to reconnect in a really meaningful way. So I would urge a no on this legislation.